How's it going? Happy Easter, and my name is David Crandall, and this is another FL Studio tutorial. Today I want to talk about using the piano roll for playing piano and other instruments, and also using the FPC, which is a drum machine instrument that FL Studio has. Um, before I get started, I want to let you know that I'm using FL Studio 8 Producer Edition. If you have an older version or a different edition, some of the features may or may not be available to you. Okay, now, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. I want to try and make this as quick as possible. This tutorial, by the way, this one's dedicated to Chris. I was already planning on doing a tutorial like this one, but my friend Chris had asked me and requested that I do this. So, here you go, Chris. All right, what we want to do is we want to select an instrument, and for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and go with FL Keys, which is Fruity Loops Basic Keyboard, and it's not the best. Sample rate's kind of low, doesn't have a lot of voices, but it's going to work for this tutorial. We want to make a melody, and there are different ways to do it. You can configure FL Studio to work with a MIDI keyboard, or you can do it by hand if you're not a great piano player and this is also good for when you are recording with your own MIDI keyboard and your timing is off or you mess up once or twice you can go back and correct things so we're gonna go ahead and create a short little melody using FL keys or, uh, and uh, our piano roll sorry I'm very tired right now okay so what we want to do is let's select our keys channel right click it and we'll go ahead and click piano roll and we'll see our piano roll pops up and what this allows us to do is create melodies chord progressions or whatever all right let's go ahead and make a melody there before I make a melody though I want to show you a few useful tools for using the piano roll successfully and making a decent piece of music um, the big big one that I want to show you right now is the snap tool um, and what this allows you to do is snap to the grid so that you can make sure that your timing is perfect okay so what we can what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select this magnet thing here and uh, um, sorry I, I'm just very tired today and we'll select step okay and what this does is it snaps each note to I to any of these uh, squares. Whatever it's closest to, it's going to snap it to that line. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and select our pencil tool, which was already selected. But if it's not selected, go ahead and select it. And what the pencil tool does is it allows you to make one note at a time. So we're going to go ahead and make Mary Had a Little Lamb. I'm sorry, this is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> We're going to make Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, folks. So let's play that. So now we have our basic melody for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, not Mary Had a Little Lamb. And so I'm going to take this opportunity to share with you some of the tools that come with the piano roll. Um, First, let's talk about making the notes a little longer or sustaining the notes. If you listen, it's kind of staccato, just da, 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 da. And in Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we always understood that, that this note right here is a little bit longer. What you can do is if you hover over the edge of the note and you left click and hold and drag, this causes the note to get longer or sustain longer and we'll go ahead and do that with the last note as well and now check out how it sounds pretty cool huh and what's cool is you can put you know different notes on top of different notes so let's kinda create a bass line okay I kinda made a little bass line for this on the piano so let's hear how it sounds
Okay, now I kind of don't like how this note is a little too high. It doesn't sound like it belongs. It should be down here. Uh, what I could do is I can click on the note and just drag it down. See how that works? Now, let's listen to it. There we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this time now to say a prayer. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to take this time and show you how velocity works. Now, what velocity is, you may be wondering, is let's think of when you actually play the piano. When you hit the keys harder, the notes are going to be louder and a bit more harsh. When you hit the keys softer, the keys play, you know, quieter, softer notes. And down here, we have our velocity. And by default, it is set to right about here. And these lower notes here are kind of overpowering. So there's different ways that you could do this. If the notes are on different timings, like this one here, if we kind of line it up on the grid here and bring it down, this note, you don't have to select anything. You can just take your pencil tool and click and bring it down. But uh, that's not what we're concerned with here. We're concerned about getting the bass notes here. Now, since these two notes, this one and this one, are starting at the same time, if you click and bring this down, it's going to bring both of these notes down. Check it out. Did you hear that? See, the, both of those notes were fairly quiet. We just want the bass notes to be quiet. Now, what we can do for that is we can take our selection tool right here. This is this little square. Click on that. And then we'll click on the outside of all these bass notes and just kind of draw a square over them. And what this does is it selects them. And you can see the velocity notes here on the bottom are being selected as well. And these are the velocity for these notes. So what we can do is we could take our pencil tool and just click and drag across the board here and bring all of them down. And now our, all of our bass notes are going to be quieter. Check it out. It's a little too quiet. Let's check out how you can use it for a drum machine type of instrument like the FPC. So what we can do is we'll go ahead and get rid of all this and we'll right click our keys we'll go ahead and go to replace and we'll select FPC. So what we'll, we'll do is we'll right click up here select piano roll and you'll see all of the instruments being labeled here. So if you click you can hear it. You can hear each one. So we'll go ahead and hit play on our pattern and turn the click track on and we'll go ahead and make a beat alright so we can hear the snare's a little quiet so we'll bring the snare way up here that sounds good to me alright okay I'm going to take this opportunity to show you the paintbrush tool. Now with the pencil tool, you have to kind of click one at a time. And we want to achieve a little groove here. So let's listen to this. Now, rather than clicking each note one at a time like I just did, you can use the paintbrush tool, click and hold, and just drag across. Simple as that. Now let's listen. Now the cool thing about that is when I did that, the velocity for the hi-hat is way too high. But all the hi-hat notes are selected so we can adjust the velocity of the hi-hats without affecting the snare and the kick. 